Okay, it's time for a game that our very own Tyler Huckabee wrote before he left for vacation. Okay, so Derek, you know Tyler's into superhero stuff like you, and so he was really excited this week about the release of Marvel's new series, Loki. Loki. Yeah. Loki. Yeah. yeah. And, and when, when Tyler pitched this game idea to me, and he started with Loki, I'm like, oh, man, seriously. I and mean, like, Loki no, 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 does have... He was, like, he was like, he was like, wait, no, no, this is about superheroes. Yeah, so the idea isn't about superheroes, so just, just FYI. But Loki comes out, and then uh, the number one film in the country right now is Cruella. So it's a big week. I've for, seen it. Is that going to help me? Is it I don't, good? No, I'm just saying, Loki's a bad guy. Okay. Cruella's a, a, you know, the villain. So it's a big week for bad guys. That's really got, the okay, point. Is it. that it's going to, this you, summer okay. is the summer that it's good to be bad. Um, oh, <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, that's, that's what he wrote. Right there. That's what he wrote right there. Uh, it's good to be bad. But how good? Now this is the game. How good do you know bad? In this game, we're going to test your knowledge of the best of the bad. So twirl your mustache, poison your apples, and dust off your flying broomstick. Because in this game, the only way to win big is to get bad. That's Tyler Huckabee's copy. I love wow. that. Yeah. It's amazing. Pretty good. Pretty good. He got it. Wow. All right, so what we're going to do is I got I got a list of questions that are going to be multiple choice. All three of you are going to play. So here you go. You're all against each other, every man and woman for themselves. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the question. I'm going to give you options, and I'm going to go around the horn, and y'all pick your answer, okay? And then Clark. I'm just uh, going to copy what Jesse says. Yeah. <laughs> But see, I'm, I'm you gonna, might be sitting next play to that the kid who fails strategy. the math test and you're yeah, copying exactly. the wrong person. <laughs> I'm a big faker. I'm a big faker, Derek. Yeah. All right, here we go. So first question. In 2019, audiences and critics flocked to Todd Phillips's The Joker, the grin, gritty exploration of the true origins of Gotham City's crown prince of crime. Joaquin Phoenix won an Oscar for the role, the second actor to win an Oscar for playing Batman's arch nemesis after the late, great Heath Ledger. Which other two actors have won an Oscar for the same character? Okay, for playing the same character. Is it A, Marlon Brando and Robert De Niro for Vito Corleone in The Godfather? Is it B, Charlton Heston and Jack Houston for Ben-Hur in Ben-Hur? Is it C, Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert Redford for Jay Gatsby in The Great Gatsby? Or D, John Malkovich and Matt Damon for Tom Ripley in The Talented Mr. Ripley? Let's go around the horn. Jesse, which one do you pick? I, I, I'm, I'm, I feel pretty confident about A on this one. A, all right. Derek. A. Jamie. I... I- hand to the heavens I promise I was going to pick A as well alright the correct answer is A Marlon Brando and Robert De Niro for Vito Corleone and the that, 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 come so on Tyler, Tyler step up that game Ty- step up Tyler that game said, <laughs> Tyler said it's going to maybe, maybe, maybe he Jesse, said, don't, think, you don't say that because you know he I, I think he sandbagged I think he sandbagged the first one to get our he did up, that's what he know. told me <clears throat> yep that's yeah. exactly what he did. All right, here we go in 1992 the hit The Candyman audiences were introduced to a hook-handed, honeybee-wielding spook who menaced any unsuspecting residents of Chicago who dared say his name five times in a mirror. That movie's modern-day remake will release later this year to terrorize a new generation with hook-handed antics and a new swarm of bees. It's a good thing, too, because honeybees are perishing at an alarming rate. What percentage of honeybee hives are estimated to have been wiped out in the U.S.? This last winter. Good is it Lord. A, 20% of the honeybee hives wiped out in the U.S.? Is it B, 30%, C, 40%, or D, 50%? Jamie, we'll start with you. I think it's so funny that this started with the movie and now this we have to right yeah. it it is really it, 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 it a completely unrelated story. <laughs> <laughs> this is classic, Tyler. I'm just going to guess 40%, whatever letter that was. I don't even know. 40% is C. Uh, Derek, C. what's your answer? I'm going B. All right, 30%. And Jesse? The new Candyman remake will be directed by Jordan <laughs> Peele, an acclaimed director. Also, banana peels. They contain what percentage of edible calories in the average banana? Derek, we'll start with you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with A, twenty percent. Okay, the correct answer is Jamie C. Forty percent of honeybee hives were estimated to have been wiped out this past winter in the U.S. So forty percent. Oh. So maybe invest in honey futures. Uh, yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're All right. Out here advice. we go. Honey and honey and flying saucers. Okay. <laughs> old, what was the old, what, what was the John Maynard Keynes guns and butter? The the modern version of that is honey and flying saucers. <laughs> All 
All right, here we go. Uh, next question. As Broadway opens back up in the Big Apple, audiences are uh, flocking back to see Wicked, the reimagined origin story of Dorothy's foe in The Wizard of Oz, which casts the Wicked Witch of the West as a misunderstood outcast who nevertheless teams to defy gravity with the help of her friends and rivals. Since its Broadway debut in 2003, Wicked has gone on to huge acclaim, becoming the second highest grossing musical of all time behind what other stage show? Is it A, The Phantom of the Opera, B, Cats, C, Rent, or D, The Lion King? Derek, we'll start with you. What was the choices again? Phantom Phantom of the Opera, Opera, Cats, Rent, or The Lion King? I'm going with the kitty cats, B. All right, Uh, Jesse. I'm going to say Lion King. Okay, and Jamie. Phantom of the Opera. The correct answer is The Lion King. Jesse knows his Broadway. He knows his, the only reason uh, I know is because, well, like... How is that the most? This has been around uh, for, like, ten years. Well, I know, but, you but gotta Disney... Th- but you got to think ticket prices, too. It's like box yeah. office oh, receipts are way different. I feel like Phantom oh, of the Opera geez. is, like, classic. Everyone wants to yeah, see but, it. Yeah, but that but was I'll, the 80s ticket prices. This is... Now they're paying nine, yeah, 150 it, bucks for a bad seat, you know? And, and the other That's thing, good. too, is I don't know how, I don't know how nice, like, all the math was calculated, but anecdotally... I know that when I was a kid, I went to the Lion King at like our local, uh, you know, Chrysler Hall or the little yeah. theater in town. I went on two field trips to see the Lion King. Two <laughs> different grades. And there was a yeah. bus load. There was like eight <laughs> bus loads for every show. You know, yeah. I think on field trip revenue alone. Lion <laughs> King has crushed it. We're doing this. They yeah. have crushed it because teachers are good. teachers are like sweet. We get out of the classroom for a little while. But well, what's the safe choice? What is no parents going to complain? Okay, yeah. Yeah. phantoms. Not rent. We don't it's want. Rent. We don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rent. We, 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 yeah we, we don't want to introduce you know complex residential housing <laughs> politics into the classroom. We can't talk about phantoms. I know that. You know, <laughs> get the get the Lion King kids in here. Just busload after busload. You know. All right, uh, Clark, what's the score? So it's Jesse 2, Derek 1, Jamie 2. There you go. All right, next question. In the first movie, God's Not Dead, college student Josh Wheaton is plagued by cultural pressure and inner doubt when his evangelical beliefs are put to the test by the evil Professor Radisson, the atheist philosophy prof played by Kevin Sorbo. Sorbo may have been bad in this movie, but he's best known for playing the heroic Hercules in the late 90s television adaptation of The Strongman from classic mythology. The show was so popular that it spawned several spinoffs, including Young Hercules, in which our teenage hero was portrayed by what modern-day A-lister? Was it Jake Gyllenhaal, Chris Hemsworth, Ryan Gosling, or Chris Evans? Jesse, we'll start with you. Young Hercules spinoff played by one of those four actors. He went from God's Not Dead, him being a bad guy in God's Not Dead, to Hercules, to a spinoff of Hercules. It's, it's, it's Can you read even, them one more time? Yeah, read the Jake, one more. Jake Gyllenhaal, Chris Hemsworth, Ryan Gosling, or Chris Evans? I'm going to say, I'm going to go, man, this is tough. This is, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to throw a flyer. Hemsworth. Can I also say that a, a listicle that Tyler and I collaborated on many years ago that was titled Nine Spooktacular Costume to Wear to This Year's Harvest Party. We suggested one of them. And this is, a, this is at the height of the God's Not Dead. This was like the uh-huh. year it came out. Uh-huh. We said that you should go as zombies Kevin Sorbo. And we said that in life, he molded young minds. In death, he will eat them. <laughs> and so he dies at the end of God's Hot Dead. He died at the end of God's Hot Dead. I didn't know there that. Some, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Spoiler alert. All right, Jamie, what's your answer? Jake yeah. Gyllenhaal, Chris guess. Hemsworth, Ryan Gosling, or Chris Evans? I'm guessing Jake Gyllenhaal. All right. And Derek? Going Ryan Gosling. Correct answer? Ryan Gosling. Derek got the phone. <sighs> All right, no. next question. Here we go. In The Wire, the real bad guy is society. As David Simon's defining prestige drama plums the depths of crime and corruption in Baltimore through the lens of the people trying to navigate the complications of contemporary life through mazes of political intrigue, bad apples in the police department, systemic injustice, and human greed. The show launched the careers of countless character actors and a few more so than Michael K. Williams, who got his first acting gig when which well-known rapper said Williams looked menacing enough to, quote, be my little brother. Was the rapper the Notorious B.I.G., 
Tupac Shakur, Dr. Dre, or Toby Mac? Jamie, we'll start with you. <laughs> Can you tell me the year that this happened? This is going to help me. Uh, no. That's not a it would have been, been the 90s because The Wire started at the end of the 90s. And so and he got it. still alive then? Okay. Yeah. I'm right, everybody go. in the list was alive when they said, would have said this. That's to, what I was, was going to see if there was a loophole. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with Notorious B.I.G. Okay, Derek. Man, what's the list again, bro? <laughs> so Michael K. Williams, his first acting gig was in a music video because the rapper said, you could be my little brother. You look like you could be my little brother. And the, the list is Notorious B.I.G., Tupac Shakur, Dr. Dre, or Toby Mac. Which it would help me if I knew who this guy was. He was in the Michael wire. Michael K. Williams or whatever. He's I know. I don't wire. know that. I don't know this. Um, He's an iconic bad guy. Iconic bad I know, guy. I'm sorry. I'm going, I'm going Dre. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to say you come at the king, you best not miss. Dr. Dre. Uh-oh. Let's do it. Uh if you know what Michael K. Williams looks like with that scar it and stuff, Pac. it's Pac. Two Pac. Two Yep. Two Pac. Mm-hmm. Yep. I didn't know if Pac was alive during that time. I'm That's what I was trying to ask. Yeah. 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 I was thinking but I mean Pac, yeah, definitely. All right. All right, next question. In 1992, Nintendo introduced Wario, the sinister counterpart to Mario and Luigi's video game exploits with fire flowers, Koopa Troopers, and invincible stars. With his zigzag mustache, burly arms, and snide demeanor, Wario frustrates the Mario Brothers' attempts to rescue Princess Peach and bring peace to the Mushroom Kingdom. That's been Mario's goal since his very first appearance in 1981 when he debuted in the original Donkey Kong arcade game under what name? Was the character's name that eventually became Mario, was it Mr. Plumber, Guido, Jumpman, or King Peach? Derek, we'll start with you. Gosh, he went from the bad guy Wario to Mario Brothers to the debut... First time Jerry, we saw the character. Any time, anytime there's that much context for a question, I know. Man, it but is, I do, I do feel like I know the. I feel like I know the answer to this one. I, I, I'm Mr. pretty plumber, Guido, I yes. Jumpman, or King Peach. The plumber, Guido, Jumpman, or King Peach. That was the it's original. Like a clue game. Yep. The plumber. Okay, Jesse. Jumpman. And Jamie. Uh, I was going to say the plumber too, but I'm, okay. I'm nervous now because Jesse seems so confident. Uh, the, the the character was first known in 1981 as Jumpman. There you go. Jesse got the point. All right. Where are we at? It's nerd Clark? stuff. We- I've been friends with Tyler too long. He brings this kind of stuff up <laughs> conversationally. Tyler, how you doing, man? How's, how's life in Nashville? Good. Did you know 1981, the original uh, name for Mario was Jumpman? Anyway, things are good. Family's good. Um, hey, by the way, the honeybee population declined by uh, 40%, 40% last year. Yeah. What's going on in your life? You, you still back in pools recreationally? Just seeing what's down there? <laughs> uh, what's, the, what's the score of day, Clark? Okay, so Jamie and Derek are tied. Jesse is leading with three. And they have two each? They have two. All right. They have two. Okay. So here's the final question, the seventh question, and it's worth two points. So if Jesse gets it wrong and y'all get it right, one of you could win. Here we go. Here's the, here it is. Lucifer, the morning star of creation, was cast out of heaven by God and the angels and has been the enemy of wait, creation hold on, ever what since. Movie was this? I can't wait to what, see what, where this what is going. What movie was this? I'm not the familiar ultimate with this bad story. Guy. <laughs> the ultimate bad guy, Lucifer. Um, during the Middle Ages, the Knights Templar were accused of worshipping a half-goat, half-human creature known as Baphomet. And, mis- and physical traits like goat hooves, a tail, and horns soon became associated with popular depictions of the devil. Ironically, the goat is also used to mean the greatest of all time. A designator recently bestowed on U.S. gymnast Simone Biles for perfecting her signature move, the Biles, which is a a triple twist double somersault, a double twist triple somersault, a double flip backwards somersault, or a cartwheel twist double backflip, A, B, C, or D. Oh my gosh. 
I just read about this, but all those words. Derek I don't looks know. so mad they right all now. Sound the same. I, I'm going to say all those moves sound impossible. You know, <laughs> they and all I, sound the same. And here's too. the thing: I saw a clip of her performing this maneuver. I, you know, yeah. I saw like the GIF of it, you know, or whatever. Uh-huh. And I'm, I couldn't even tell what happened in the air. I was just very impressed. <laughs> I just saw. No. I, I, it was like it was like in the cartoons <laughs> when the Tasmanian devil just starts spinning <laughs> so and it fast. just like just limbs and and, and air. Like yeah. that's what it's like. You're like, wow. I don't. I have no idea what she did in the air, but I know it was. Very, Derek very looks so <laughs> mad or bored or so I don't know what, but the bro, that mugger bu- had nothing to do with <laughs> Lucifer, <laughs> bro. Like I'm just like, bro, why is you just get the, oh, oh, the yeah, goat? Man. The goat I was the depiction Tyler of James. Satan, and then and then the goat <laughs> is also the greatest of all time. I, listen, here's what, here's what I'm proposing. Here's what I'm proposing. I'm I'm proposing. We all just pick a letter and just roll with it here. We got yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, because no, no there's no B, way bro. reasoning I mean, around B, this. Bro. Derek, uh, I'm Derek I'm is saying co- confidently. Derek saying that the Biles is a double twist, triple somersault. B. Okay, Jesse. I'm gonna go A. Oh, uh, whatever. A triple that is. twist, dumber so, some, uh, triple, triple <laughs> twist, double somersault is what Jesse chose. Okay, and I'm going with C. Double flip, backward somersault. All right, the correct answer. And the winner of the game is A, Jesse. Yeah! A, a, the Biles is a triple twist, <laughs> dumber, double somersault. There you go. Listen, the, the only goat, reason, man. real talk, real talk, guys, I that was all a bluff. Uh, the real reason I know that is because it's been spent a lot of time vacuuming uh, uh, <laughs> pools for people who work for the Pentagon. Yeah. Came across a pretty sweet high dive. I pulled up the Biles. <laughs> And guys, you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna believe it. I nailed it. I nailed you it. Nailed off this the guy's high dive. And I also found some pretty sensitive national security uh, uh, secrets in the skimmer baskets. So I don't know what I don't know what's going on over there. All right. Well, congratulations. Oh, oh my gosh. And you know, here's the thing. There's actually a lot more questions. I just like they're so dense. I'm just I'm pulling the cord. I'm pulling the cord right now. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. That'll do it for I'm gonna fight Tyler, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to give it to him, though. I mean, this is intense. Like, it, this is good. This is good game writing. Could you yeah. imagine being on Who Wants to Be a yesterday. Millionaire? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, and they're like, oh, sweet. This is a question about Lucifer. I actually have a degree in theology. Let's hear it, Regis. And you're like, are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? I don't. I, 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 what, 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 fo- what friend would I phone? Okay. That, that knows the intricacies of a, of a gymnastics move that was invented a week ago. Okay. Right. Who am I going to call? Who would know that? Oh.